Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a Windows Server 2019. So let's start creating a new virtual machine. Typical, here on the next paragraph we have three choices. You can choose installer disk. Installer disk will allow you to install a Windows or any kind of operating system as soon as your computer still have a CD or a DVD ROM. The second installer disk image usually detect automatically the image you have or you can click I will install the operating system however it will create a virtual machine without any kind of hard disk. The, actually there is a hard, a hard drive but the operating system is empty so you need to do a couple of steps. But I would like to choose install the operating system later and customize. Click next. Choose from the list Windows Server 2016 even though we choose and we try to play with 2019 we can still use any one of them for example if you can try to use Windows Server 2012 or 8 and you try to install 2019 it will still work without any kind of problem anyway click next name it the way you like to name it in this case I like to name it DC01 in case you don't know this is zero DC stands for domain controller so domain controller is the main server which control all resources in a company click next store virtual disk as a single file select the amount of disk you want you would like to install 60 gigs is recommended anyway next customize hardware however being a new version of Windows Server he require a lot of memory a lot of processor so in my case I would like to add 4 gigs of RAM and I would like to add multiple threads to my computer in order to make it run faster now after I finish I need to go to something called network adapter network adapter have different state if I click bridge it will physically connect to my real Ethernet card and other net computer in the network can identify it can ping it can share resources and will have internet as well we have NAT. NAT stands for Network Address Translate. Network Address Translate it allows you to translate a private IP into a public. However, if you are on the same LAN, other people cannot access your server. So, in case, for example, you have a server and this server it run a software, you can use Bridge, and whoever is on that network can see it but in this moment I would like to choose host only and host only it's a private network it's like a virtual switch which allow me to isolate the image from the uh, internet now I need to go to CD DVD use ISO image browse and choose from the list the Windows Server 2019 you have okay. hit OK and finish now once we finish power on this virtual machine okay so it started loading so the difference is not so big between 2016 and 2019 if you have played before with 2000 uh, Windows Server 2016 you will see that graphically it's very close look it's look alike so you won't see so much of a difference beside a little bit of performance increasing and other uh, bugs and glitch which they had during the other servers so choose whatever language you want to choose okay, and the keyboard click next install now so now they will ask you to you know, insert the um, CD key the CD key at the moment is free of charge because it's an evolution copy for those who try to install it or if you do not have a CD, a CD key, you can skip the license and you can still continue to use it. So you see, in my case, I, I, do, I do have it, but I don't want to use it. So I click, I do not have a product key and it still allow me to install. For the purpose, I like to use data center with desktop experience. So the difference between standard and data center is the fact that data center, you have um, more license for the Hyper-V and also it will allow the server to have multiple other application which in standard it does is not that powerful and the third things which you need to take in consideration how strong is your server some of those standard edition might not recognize the whole server CPU so click next
I accept the license term. Next. Now we have two choices upgrade and custom. Upgrade at the moment cannot be possible because at the moment there is no other version than 2019. So, case in point, if you try to upgrade, you need to upgrade from a lower version to a higher version. For example, you try to update from upgrade, sorry, from 2016 to 2019, you can upgrade it, or you can try to upgrade from 2012 all the way up. However, since we have the latest version, we can only choose custom is custom. So as a result, we can only install uh, a clean uh, copy of the server. So click new, choose the partition you try to make it. You can shrink it or you can give it the way it is. Hit apply. Okay. So now click next. Okay next so as you can see the windows start installing okay guys so i will pause the video and i'm coming back when the uh, installation has been successful okay guys so the installation has been finished so now it will ask us to create a password for the built-in administrative account so it is a built-in because so funny though you cannot change this name one of the thing is like that in case you install a fresh windows and somebody put a funny name and they forget the name you are locked as a result administrator cannot be changed and since it's part of the administrator group and allow you to control the machine if you try to create a client uh, sorry a user by default it will be part of the user group so user which does not have administrative permission they cannot access resources from the server so that's why it's built in so let's insert a password p at sswrd at SSW0RD. I like to use this kind of password for the purposes. Finish. Okay, so we successfully uh, finish installing. If you try to click Control Delete, it will give you the Control Delete from the real machine. But you can click VM, Send, Control Alt Delete, and you can go. Let's insert the password P at SSW0RD. So we managed to install a Windows Server 2019 but before we end the video I would like to tell you something um, as you can see at the moment the Windows Server they have a big border a black border as you can see here all the way here and we cannot make it full screen you see even if you try to make it full screen it will not give you any benefit so the first things we need to go we need to right click on the tab which we have the Windows Server install VMware Tools VMware Tools, uh, click install VMware Tools, it will allow you to install drivers for this machine once you install drivers, the whole screen will be visible and another advantage is the fact that you can copy files from the real machine inside of the virtual or backward so we need to go to file explorer this pc see here the vmware tools appear right click install or run the program from the media so let's install the virtual the uh, vm and as you can see once we start installing the entire screen will become big okay uh, let's look task manager performance okay right click change logical as you can see the two cores I added at the beginning and 4 gigs of RAM okay so there is not big of a difference between the regular 2016 and 2019 okay so let's continue with the installation you just click next next install and once it finish it will ask a restart once you restart it will allow you to be in a full screen mode so you will have access to different um, options especially even though uh, audio audio once you install vmware tools you can play even video from the virtual and it will uh, 
uh, have sound in the real one as well which is another advantage or think about you try to use a software which is evolution copy is for 30 days a trial so after 30, 30 days you cannot try you cannot uh, use it so you have some important documents or some files and you want to take that file with you as a result you just copy the files in the real desktop it's so easy as soon as you install the VMware tools ah uh, yes so as you can see now the VMware tools has been installed we have access to the whole screen so hit finish you must restart the system you can click no or yes so in this case I will click yes okay guys so now as you can see we have access to the full screen mode full screen mode so that's how is it to install a Windows Server 2019 if you like it please give a like and subscribe to my channel thank you